We're talking with Max Motika of Albion Labs. Uh, Max, what about potassium? Is that a mineral that we need, and what, what, what can you tell us about potassium? Well, uh, potassium, of course, is uh, very, very important. Uh, it's needed in high quantities, like 900 to 2,000 milligrams a day, depending on body size and activity level and things such as that. Uh, potassium is a regulator. It's involved in proper function of your nervous system, your muscles, and your, your heartbeat, heart regulator, things like that. Uh, it's called really an electrolyte, typically in medicine, is the term, and that's why oftentimes people don't identify potassium as a mineral, because they, the doctors in particular refer to it as an electrolyte, and it gets overlooked as a, a mineral, if you will. But it's a very, very important one, and it's one that can become out of whack uh, from a variety of uh, uh, different things, uh, things like a lot of exercise, a lot of sweating, we lose potassium and sweat and urine and things such as that. So if you're out in the, in the summertime and you're you know, active and you're sweating a lot uh, and uh, you start to feel a little bit tired and what have you, sometimes you know, it's a sign that your potassium is getting low. So Max, are there foods, are there food sources of potassium that we, uh, we get in our normal diet? Well, there are. Uh, it's uh, limited a little bit. The, uh, food that's very high in potassium is a banana. Uh, outside of bananas, uh, you know, the best sources really are going to be uh, flesh foods such as, uh, you know, steaks and things such as that because they have the potassium that they needed to have their body functioning and that potassium uh, is typically uh, the one that uh, we could get in our diet. Uh, oftentimes, uh, the amount is not as high in that, though, as well, because as you can imagine, since the potassium is an extracellular element in the body, a lot of it is lost from the meat uh, because it's mostly in the blood. When it comes to supplementation with potassium, are there concerns about uh, taking too much? Uh, are there, what, is, what are the amounts that typically well, you'd find in you know, supplementation? I'll tell you, um, the uh, regulation on tablets and capsules in this country only allows 99 milligrams of potassium per dose, and that's certainly more than a, a safe mm -hmm. level. I mean, it's, you're not going to do any, any harm to somebody at that dose. And, you know, taking a supplement with uh, 99 milligrams, a couple of tablets before, you know, uh, exercising and things like that can be a very good idea, and it's a safe idea. Uh, the, uh, People who have specific health problems, such as severe kidney disease and such as that, they, they have to be careful about getting too much potassium. But you and I, with no problems with our kidneys and things like that, mm -hmm. the chance of you taking too much potassium is very, very weak. How about uh, signs of uh, deficiency, other than some of the things you mentioned? Uh... Well, deficiency, one of the things that happens uh, is uh, you start to get... Uh, problems with muscle function. You mm -hmm. feel weakness, mm -hmm. uh, lassitude, mm -hmm. uh, you know, that type of thing. You could get cramps. Mm -hmm. uh, you often see uh, in the football games, the mm -hmm. football players on the sidelines getting an IV, and what they're giving them is potassium to help counteract the cramps from having okay. lost so much during the performance of that sport. Mm -hmm. uh, you could actually uh, develop irregular heartbeat because mm -hmm. it's involved in the regulation of the, the muscle pump uh, of the heart, uh, any neurological, you know, uh, thing uh, that uh, requires uh, constant regulation, regulation, like uh, if you don't have enough potassium, all of a sudden it's going to get out of whack. It'll, you know, instead of the muscle of the heart, for instance, boom, 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 like that, it'll go. So you get a very irregular uh, heartbeat uh, with not enough potassium. Uh, it's, a, it's a critical need. So if someone were to notice either cramping as something a, a more than just a very infrequent mm -hmm. kind of a situation mm -hmm. or uh, feel a little bit of an irregular heartbeat, mm -hmm. potassium oh, absolutely. might be something yeah, that they look and, at. You know, uh, they even start to get a little uh, CNS problems in a way. Mm -hmm. They uh, become a little irritable. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a, a sign as well. So if somebody's sweating a lot and they're getting irritable, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, maybe they say, you know, I feel weak, mm -hmm. that's why. Mm -hmm. They need their potassium. Mm -hmm.
Now, is potassium uh, chelated in the same form as some of the other uh, minerals that we've spoken about? No, this, about? Is, this is a different uh, animal, if you will. Potassium, and there are a few minerals like this that cannot be chelated, and it's because of their, their uh, atomic structure. Uh, potassium uh, can be made into a complex, and the complex form, uh, which we make, is a potassium lysine complex. And that is, you know, as good as you're going to get with potassium is a complex form. Uh, and the nice thing about the complex form, though, is that it is gentler on the gut than the typical potassium salt form. So people who take potassium chloride and things such as that uh, often will complain about the feeling they get in their stomach when they take that supplement. With a, the complex, it's not that bad. And uh, also, if you're taking it in a liquid form, which oftentimes they put potassium in effervescent tablets mm -hmm. or liquids to make it work quicker, uh, you find that the taste of potassium in those forms is uh, a little, little too salty, mm -hmm. if you will. But the uh, glycine complex, the taste is not a problem. Thank you, Max.